the globe and the map are two fundamental tools used for understanding and navigating the world. Globes are three-dimensional spherical models of the earth that provide a highly accurate representation of geographical features. On the other hand, maps are two-dimensional scaled representation of the earth surface. Now, the question is, what is the meaning of map? Maps are visual representation of geographic information designed to help people understand and navigate the world around them. They provide a relationship between various features of the earth surface, such as landforms, bodies of water, political boundaries, and human settlements. There are many types of map, each designed to convey different types of information. This video will cover three types of map. These are physical maps, political maps, and thematic maps, each designed to highlight different aspects of geography. Here are simplified representation of each type. As you can see, I have explained these maps in very easy way to understand by this simple graph. In physical map, graph shows mountains. Mountains are shown using peaks and valleys. In political map, countries are divided with clear boundaries and different colors. In thematic map, areas are shaded or color based on population density data. Each type of map serves a distinct purpose and provides unique insights based on what you need to understand or analyze. Now, what is physical map? A physical map is a type of map that focuses on the physical features of the earth surface. They provide detailed information about the geography of an area, highlight natural features like mountains, rivers, lakes, ocean, desert, and forest. Now, let's focus some example of physical map elements. First element, mountains and hills. Represent with shades of brown or tan, and label with their names and elevations. Second element, rivers and lakes. Shown in blue with major rivers often labeled along their course and significant lakes marked and named. Next element is desert. Typically indicate in shades of yellow or tan, highlighting arid regions. Next element, forest represented with green, showing extensive forest areas or single large forest. Next element, ocean and seas. Large bodies of water are marked in blue, often with depth contour to indicate underwater topography. Now, focus some uses of physical maps. First use of physical map is education. They are very important in teaching geography, helping students understand the earth's physical landscape and how various landforms are distributed across the globe. Second, travel and tourism. Travels use physical map to navigate natural terrains such as hiking trails, mountain ranges and water routes. Third, Environmental studies. Research and environmentalists use physical map to study ecosystem, climate regions, and natural resources. Fourth, planning and development. Urban planners and engineers use physical map to assess land suitability for construction, agriculture, and other development based on the terrain and physical features. Fifth is navigation. Physical map assists in navigation, especially in areas where natural landmarks are critical for orientation, such as wilderness areas and large water bodies. In summary, 
a physical map is a valuable tool that provides a visual representation of the earth natural features helping user understand and appreciate the physical landscape of a given area now what is the meaning of political map a political map is a type of map that focus on showing governmental boundaries and territorial divisions political maps are designed to highlight human made division and the organization of various regions for administrative and political purpose now focus some example of political map elements first element in political map is boundaries political maps clearly represent boundaries between countries states and other political entities these boundaries are typically marked with clear lines second element capital cities they remarkable display capital cities which are often marked with special symbols like stars or circle to determine them from other cities third labels names of countries states capital city are clearly marked fourth is color use different colors are used to distinguish between different cities and different countries each political entity is usually filled in a unique color to prevent confusion and to clearly show the different state fifth ocean and seas major bodies of water are typically included and labeled though they are secondary to the political boundaries now let's learn uses of political maps first use of political maps is in education political maps are an important tool in education helping students learn about the political division of the world including the location of countries states and cities second is government and administration these maps are used by governmental and administrative bodies to manage regions plan developments and implement policies third is travel and navigation travel use political map to understand the political landscape of the areas they are visiting including international border and major urban centers fourth is media and news political maps are frequently used in media to provide geographical context to news stories especially those related to international affairs conflicts or elections fifth is business and economics business use political maps to understand market regions plan logistic and make decision about where to op operate or invest in summary a political map is crucial tool for understanding the human made division of the world it provides clear and accessible information about the boundaries and organization of various regions what is thematic map a thematic map is a type of map specifically designed to highlight a particular theme or subject area related to a specific geographic region thematic map focus on visualizing data and sepidal patterns related to a specific topic or theme thematic maps focus on a single topic or subject matter such as population density climate economic activities or health statistics this focus approach makes them valuable for detailed analysis of specific issue for example this map showing population density where darker shades of blue indicate area with higher population density and lighter shades indicate lower density a population thematic map is a type of thematic map that focus on visualizing population related data this map can illustrate various aspects of population distribution density growth composition or other demographic factors focus some examples of thematic map elements first 
color shades and gradients to represent different level of population density or growth rates. A map of India with darker shades of blue in densely populated states and lighter shades in barely populated states. Second, dots. To show the capital city of their state, a map of India representing cluster of population highlighting urban and rural areas. Let's learn uses of thematic map. First use of thematic map is demographic studies. Displaying population such as age distribution, density or ethnic composition. Second, economic analysis. Showing economic indicator such as income level, employment rates or industrial output. Third, environmental monitoring. Mapping environmental data such as rainfall distribution, temperature ranges or pollution level. Fourth, health and epidemiology. Visualizing the spread of disease, health outcome or access to healthcare service. Fifth, urban planning. Analyze land use, infrastructure development or zoning patterns. Sixth use, education and research. Serving as educational tool to illustrate specific topics in geography, history or social studies. In summary, a thematic map is a powerful tool for presenting and analyze data related to specific themes. By focusing on a simple single subject and using visual technique to represent data. Thematic map make it easier to understand and communicate complex spectral patterns and trend. Maps are so important in geography for the ability to visualize spectral data, facilitate navigation, enable detailed analysis, and support planning and communication. They provide a framework for understanding the complexity of the Earth's surface and human interaction with it, making them essential tool in various fields of study and practice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question, do let me know in my comment box. Thank you.